Playing for Australia is pretty intense, I have to admit, and also, you know, the proudest moment when you put on the green and gold and stepping out on the court and hear the anthem. Um, you know, they're the little feelings that make, that make you want to play for Australia, but also, I guess, knowing that you're with a bunch of girls who are top of their game and you training with them and, you know, mingling with them every day, it kind of helps your attitude and your progress within the game. Well, what I love about playing netball, I guess, is making friends. Um, who then become your long life friends. So the ones that you click with and knowing that they're going to be there forever is quite, quite an amazing feeling, but also the um, competitiveness against ultimate athletes on the court. I wouldn't say it's closing completely, but I know that we're making a, a quiet roar with some of our progress, especially with the, new, uh, with the netball at the moment, with ANZ Championship. But I guess when it comes to individual sports, you know, we do have it up there with the boys, but um, I guess we need more progress when it comes to the, the male, uh, the females in team orientated sports. Sacrifice, I guess, will be time with your family and friends. Being a semi-professional sport, we still have to train in the afternoons and early mornings and fit in um, a full-time job or a part-time job and, and study at the same time. As women, we kind of have to juggle a few things, so time is, is precious for us. The average girl or supporter can support women in sport by just even encouraging on the sidelines. Knowing that a girl is pushing her boundaries or pushing her way through the ranks, um, if you give her a heads up or a thumbs up or a nice hand clap, you know, that's one way you can support a girl and also maybe tweet it.